Hi everyone, I'm Kritika. Welcome to Kitabi Cabins. A little bit about myself. I really enjoy reading, writing. I love books and movies, how they are written, how they are made. I get obsessed with authors and uh, I'm constantly looking out for people and platforms who can recommend me good stuff. And uh, just in case I land upon something really nice, I can't wait it to share it with people and discuss it. Which brings me here on Kitabi Cabins. So let's begin. Today I'm here to talk to you about a book called Rashmi Rathi. It is an Hindi epic poem written by Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. It was published in 1952 and since then this book has been an insight towards Kern's life. If you're familiar with Mahabharat and the characters of Mahabharat, you would know Kern and uh, how many hardships he had to face. So if you break Rashmi Rathi into two halves, Rashmi means light. And Rathi is a charioteer. So Randhari Singh Dhankar has called Kern a charioteer of the ray of lights. And he was also known as the child of sun. So it makes sense. And the whole book goes around the pivotal points in Kern's life. It starts with him seeking blessings and teachings from Guru Dronacharya. So Guru Dronacharya had a pact that he will only teach to Brahmins and not Kshatriyas. Kern, who was a boarder with a Kshatriya, who grew up in a family of charioteers, he disguised as a Brahman and went to Guru Dronacharya to seek his teachings. And uh, later during his course of the lessons, Guru Dronacharya gets to know that, okay, he's not a Brahman and he curses him. And this is just the beginning. One of the major incidents happened when Duryodhan befriends Karna. That was the first time when Karna found somebody who has looked him beyond his caste, beyond his birth, beyond his background. Randhari Singh Dinkar talks about casteism. And it is a little bit disheartening that whatever he has written in the book is so much relatable when you see it in current setting of time. The hardships that women had to face or the allegations that women had to face still hold true. As much as it is relatable on a little sad ends, it is also relatable uh, on human emotions, on friendship, on betrayal, on family drama, oh the family drama. When it comes to Kern's life, his his life has been full of, uh, as I said, a lot of hardships, bad things are happening to him, people are betraying him. Starting from the birth, uh, he was the firstborn of Kunti and Kunti abandoned the child because uh, from her point of view, it was very difficult for a woman to have a child before marriage and uh, live a life of dignity. So she thought that it would be better for the child and for herself if she abandoned him. But later, when uh, Mahabharat was about to happen and Kunti realized that I might lose one of my sons, she comes to Karn and it's a very it's a very beautiful conversation that uh, the mother and son have. So Karn feels betrayed, like first you abandoned me uh, as a child and now you're trying to save your pandas and not me. He thinks of her as a very selfish woman. And you see Gun's perspective and you get the point. All of his life, Duryodhan has been standing beside him. So he has sown his loyalty and he's gonna fight along with Duryodhan. If you have read Yuganta, you will actually get a perspective from Kunti's point of view as well. Like why she did what she did and why is she trying to convince Kern not to fight the battle. Kern actually promised Kunti that her five sons would be alive. But you might know how the war ended and who died and who lived. I grew up on Mahabharat, so it's very close to my heart. And Krishna and Karn are two characters which I would like to deep dive into because they are so humanly, uh, one is very humanly complex, that is Karn, and he's feeling so many emotions that are relatable on so many levels. And Krishna is on more on the calmer and practical and all of this side. If you want to give it a go, please do. Even if you're not very well versed in Hindi, it's fine because uh, you won't break the flow. Once you start reading it, you will get the just there is a snippet from Rashmi Rathi which a lot of theatre actors do as a practice. Manoj Bajpai and Ashutosh Rana have done a snippet of the part where Krishnji comes to Duryodhan asking him like we shouldn't go ahead with this war and this is the point uh, that a lot of theatre people narrate. दे दो हमें केवल पांच ग्राम रखो अपनी धरती तमाम हम इसी से खाएंगे परिजन पे असी ना उठाएंगे दुर्योधन यह भी दे न सका आशीष समाज के लिए न सका उल्टा हरि को मानने चला जो था साध्य साध नहीं चला जब नाश मनुष्य पे आता है उसका विवेक मर जाता है एंड देन द होल पैराग्राफ गोस ऑन टू से 
how Shri Krishna enhanced his view and showed them what he's capable of. That's when you know that Mahabharata is going to happen and Duryodhan was not ready to give a piece of land which they were ready to accept and carry on with the lives they means Pandava here. It's a beautiful poem. I read it to my grandmother a lot whenever I go back home and she loves it. Please do let me know if you like it and I'll see you next time. Thank you.